The Singapore national football team is the association football national team of the city-state of Singapore. It is organized by the Football Association of Singapore The most significant successes of the team have come in the regional AFF Championship, which Singapore has won four times in 1998, 2004–05, 2007, and 2012. Singapore is the first team to achieve this feat and the only team to win in all the finals they played. In 1998, Singapore beat Vietnam 1–0 in the final to capture the country's first major international football title. In the 2004–05 competition, Singapore defeated Indonesia in a two-leg final 5–2 on aggregate. Singapore retained the trophy in 2007, beating Thailand 3–2 on aggregate in the final. In 2012, Singapore won the trophy a record fourth time, again defeating three-time champions Thailand 3–2 on aggregate in the final. In the 2007 AFC Asian Cup qualification, Singapore became the only team to beat Iraq where Iraq were en route to their Asian Cup winning campaign. Singapore also drew with China 0–0 and 1–1 at home in 2006 and 2009 respectively. In March 2008, Australia also failed to beat Singapore when the game ended in a goalless draw. In January 2007, Singapore achieved a national record 11–0 win against Laos in the 2007 AFF Championship. Mode Noah Lam Shaw scored seven goals in the match. In the FIFA World Rankings, Singapore's highest standing was in the first release of the figures, in August 1993, at 73rd. Singapore was the Asian Football Confederation's Mover of the Year in 2005. Singapore's main rivals on the international stage are their geographical neighbours, Malaysia and Indonesia, and past matches between these two teams have produced much drama. Over the years, Singapore has included several naturalised citizens in its team such as Faruddin Mustafak from what would now become Serbia, Daniel Bennett from England, Shi Jiayi and Chu Li from China. Singapore is currently the 165th ranked team in the world as of October 2018. History Topic eighteen ninety two to nineteen ninety four In eighteen ninety two, the Singapore Amateur Football Association applied to become a registered society. The HMS Malaya Cup which was later known as the Malaysia Cup was launched in 1921 by officers of a British battleship in Malaya, and Singapore was one of the six teams that took part in the inaugural year, and won the event. While the representative side in the Malaysia Cup and the Malaysian League was not the national team per se, this team included some foreign players. Many Singapore football fans viewed the Malaysia Cup side as being the national team, and the team's exploits in the Malaysian competitions generally drew much more attention than Singapore's participation in other international tournaments. They either won or were runners up in the event every year until 1941, after which it was suspended because of World War II. Overall, Singapore won 24 Malaysia Cup titles and two Malaysian League titles. After winning the Malaysia Cup and League double in 1994, the Football Association of Singapore withdrew from the Malaysian competitions following a dispute with the Football Association of Malaysia over gate receipts. Singapore subsequently launched its own professional league, the S-League, in 1996, and also began to put much more focus on the performance of its national team in international competitions. Topic nineteen ninety five to nineteen ninety nine Singapore won the bronze medal in the nineteen ninety five Southeast Asian Games, after losing zero to one in the semi finals to the hosts and eventual gold medalists, Thailand. Singapore hosted the nineteen ninety six AFF Championship but were eliminated in the group stages. The national team again reached the semi-finals of the Southeast Asian Games in 1997, losing to Indonesia, and lost to Vietnam 0-1 in the third-place match. However, in the 1998 edition of the AFF Championship, Singapore's team led by coach Barry Whitbread won the group stage with victories over Malaysia and the Philippines. In the semi-finals, they beat Indonesia and subsequently edged out hosts Vietnam 1-0 in the final. This was the country's first ever international title. 
Topic 2000 to 2002. Jan B. Powelson, who was part of Denmark's backroom staff at the 1998 World Cup, was appointed the technical director of the Football Association of Singapore in 1999. Due to poor results by Singapore in the 2000 AFF Championship, coach Vincent Sebramaniam was sacked and Powelson took over as coach in December 2000. Singapore hosted the 2002 AFF Championship, but lost 0-4 to arch-rivals Malaysia in their first game. Before the game, local newspaper The New Paper was encouraging fans to turn up in numbers. After the game, the Lions attributed their heavy defeat to the unexpected large crowd. Singapore went on to win 2-1 over Laos, but a 1-1 draw in the final group game against Thailand was not enough for them to reach the knockout stages. Powelson was sacked after the tournament. Topic. 2003-2004 AFF Championship Radojko Avramovic took over as coach of the flailing and deflated Singapore national football team in July 2003. Singapore started the 2004 AFF Championship as underdogs but a 1-1 draw in their first game against hosts Vietnam, another draw against Indonesia, and wins against Cambodia and Laos saw them qualify for the semi-finals. Singapore were drawn against Myanmar in the two-legged semi-finals. Singapore took a 4-3 away lead back home for the second leg. In the ill-tempered second leg, three Myanmar players were sent off and a reserve Myanmar goalkeeper even threw a water bottle at defender S. Subramani. Singapore went on to win 4-2 after extra time for an 8-5 aggregate victory. Singapore then won the first leg of the two-legged final against Indonesia 3-2-1 in Jakarta, before winning 2-2-1 in the second leg in front of a 55,000 home crowd. 2007 Asian Cup qualifiers In 2006, Avramovic then led Singapore into the 2007 Asian Cup qualifiers with a 2-0 victory at home over Iraq, but Singapore failed to build on this victory and then lost away to Palestine. The Singapore team then took on China away in Tianjin and lost to an injury time penalty. China travelled to Singapore for the second meeting and the Singapore defence held out for a 0-0 draw. A subsequent 2-4 loss to Iraq dashed Singapore's hopes of qualifying for the Asian Cup. The Asian Cup qualifying campaign ended with a default 3-0 victory over Palestine, who were unable to fulfill the fixture. 2007 AFF Championship Singapore hosted the group stages of the 2007 AFF Championship. After a 0-0 draw with Vietnam, Singapore then thrashed Laos 11-0 to record their largest ever win. In the final group match, Singapore knocked Indonesia out of the tournament in a 2-2 draw. Singapore met Malaysia in the semi-final. The first leg saw a 1-1 draw in Shah Alam, while in the second leg at Singapore's National Stadium, following another 1-1 draw, Singapore beat Malaysia in a penalty shootout 5-4, goalkeeper Lionel Lewis saving the final Malaysian spot kick from Mode Kyrol Muhaimin Zambri. In the final against Thailand, Singapore won a controversial first leg at home 2-1, then secured a 1-1 draw in Bangkok thanks to a late strike from Kyrol Amri to retain the AFF Championship trophy. 2008 AFF Championship In the 2008 AFF Championship co-hosted by Indonesia and Thailand, Singapore was drawn in Group A to against Indonesia, Myanmar and Cambodia. Singapore progressed from the group as winners. However, they lost out to eventual winners Vietnam 0-1 on aggregate. 2010 World Cup qualifiers Singapore met Palestine in the first round of the 2010 FIFA World Cup Asian qualifying tournament. Singapore won the first leg 4-0 away in Doha, and the Palestinians again failed to fulfill the away fixture, so FIFA awarded Singapore a 3-0 win. 
Singapore was drawn with Tajikistan in the second round. Singapore won the home match 2-0 and drew the return leg 1-1 on the 18th of November to progress to the third round of the Asian qualifying tournament for the first time, where they were drawn against Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, and Uzbekistan. Singapore's group stage campaign began with a loss to Saudi Arabia, but the Lions then beat Lebanon 2-0 at home. Successive losses to Uzbekistan, 3-7 and 0-1, left Singapore with little chance of getting into the next round. Singapore were finally eliminated when they lost 0-2 to the Saudis at home. Singapore finished third in the group with six points from six games after defeating Lebanon 2-1 in Beirut in their final game. With the elimination, goal 2010 was also dropped. Topic. 2011 Asian Cup qualification For the 2011 AFC Asian Cup qualification, Singapore was drawn in Group E, together with Iran, Thailand and Jordan. Singapore were beaten 0-6 by Iran in the first match, and then defeated Jordan 2-1. In November 2009, Singapore hosted Thailand at the National Stadium and lost 3-1, but won the return fixture 1-0 a few days later, earning Singapore their first victory on Thai soil in 48 years. Singapore next hosted Iran, losing 1-3, and the 1-2 defeat against Jordan which followed ended their hopes of Asian Cup football in 2011. The players reported some teammates were smoking during half-time in the match against Jordan. 2010 AFF Championship In 2010, Singapore drew with the Philippines 1-1, defeated Myanmar 2-1, then duly lost to Vietnam 0-1 in the knockout stage decider. As a result, the Singapore national football team was knocked out of the group stage in Hanoi. The Lions were criticized for their dismal performances in the AFF Championship, which they won in 1998, 2004, and 2007. 2011-2012 In January 2011, the FAS decided to disband and revamp the national team. Six months later, the Lions were back in action after the dismal performances in 2010. In May 2011, national team coach Rada Avramovic announced the new 33-strong national provisional squad for the upcoming international friendlies and 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification campaign. The Lions were scheduled to play international friendlies against Maldives on 7 June 2011 and Laos on 18 July 2011. Few days after releasing the provisional 33-man squad, national team training started in preparation of the match against Maldives. Avramovic led the New Look Lions in a game where Singapore won Maldives 4-0 at the Jalan Besar Stadium, Singapore in a friendly match. Note. The match was not an a international because unlimited substitutions were allowed. After the 4-0 win against Maldives, a closed-door friendly match against Etoile FC of the S League was played at the Jalan Besar Stadium, in which the Lions were triumphant thanks to goals from Alexander Durek and Chu Lee. Less than a week later before the World Cup qualifier, a final friendly was played against Chinese Taipei. Singapore won the match 3-2 with goals from Alexander Durek, Shi Jiayi and Fazrul Nawaz. In preparation for the third round of the World Cup qualifiers, the Lions played a friendly non -a match against Thailand before their opening qualifier against China. The friendly finished 0-0. The Singapore national team took part in the 10th edition of the Sultan of Selangor Cup, usually contested by the Singapore selection. They beat the Selangor selection 1-0. This was also Singapore's sixth time winning the Sultan of Selangor Cup. They then took on but was defeated by the Philippines 0-2 in a friendly. Few months later, coach Rada Avramovic announced a new 27-man squad for the national team comprising mostly players from Lions XC. 2014 FIFA World Cup qualifier, Asian qualifier. Singapore received a bye to the second round of 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification in 2011 because of their accession to the third round of the qualifying in the previous World Cup. 
Their second round opponents were regional rivals Malaysia, whom they beat 5–3 in the first leg with goals from Alexander Durek, Chu Li, Mustafik Faruddin and Shi Jiayi. The second leg was held at the National Stadium, Bukit Jalil on 28 July 2011. A 1–1 draw thanks to a key Shi Jiayi goal in the second half was enough to put Singapore through to the third round of Asian Zone World Cup 2014 qualifying. In the preliminary draw in Brazil on 30 July 2011 by the football governing body FIFA, Singapore was drawn into Group A for their Round 3 of the Asian qualifiers with Jordan, Iraq and China. Singapore kicked off the third round with a 1–2 loss to China in Kunming. They then succumbed to a second defeat, 0–2, against Iraq. The next match was slated to be held at Jalan Besar Stadium, Singapore on the 11th of October against Jordan which Singapore lost 0-3. A 0-2 defeat to Jordan in Amman killed off the Lions' chances of progress. Singapore ended the year with a 0-4 defeat at home to China PR, their fifth consecutive loss. Iraq then demolished the Singapore team 1-7 in Doha, Qatar and this resulted in Singapore losing all six games. Topic: 2012 AFF Championship. In 2012, Singapore started their tournament with a 3-0 win over close rivals Malaysia. They then lost 0-1 to Indonesia before winning 4-3 in the knockout stage decider against Laos to top the group and qualify for the semi-finals. Against the Philippines in the semi-finals, Singapore won 1-0 on aggregate. The solitary goal from Kyril Amri during the home leg of the semi-finals was enough to set up a meeting with Thailand in the finals. The Lions won the first leg of the finals 3-1 in Singapore. Despite losing the away leg 0-1, Singapore was able to pick up the 2012 AFF Championship, their fourth championship. Singapore holds the record for the highest number of AFF Championship titles. Rada Avramovic ended his tenure as Singapore coach after the tournament. Topic: 2015 Asian Cup qualification. For the 2015 AFC Asian Cup qualification, Singapore was drawn in Group A, together with Iran, Thailand, and Jordan. Singapore were beaten 0-4 by Jordan in the first match, and then lost to Jordan with a scoreline of 0-2. In October 2013, Singapore hosted Syria at the Jalan Besar Stadium and with their first win of the campaign with a 2-1 victory thanks to Gabriel Quack's late winner, which was also his first international goal. But a month later, Syria won Singapore in the return fixture 0-4. Singapore next hosted Jordan, losing 1-3, and the 1-3 defeat against Oman which followed ended their hopes of Asian Cup football in 2015. 2013-2014 The FAS announced on 15 May 2013 that they had appointed German Bernd Stang as the new head coach of the national team. On 27 May 2013, Stang announced his choice of 23 players for the friendlies against Myanmar and Laos on 4 June 2013 and 7 June 2013 respectively. The squad featured several new players who were called up to the national squad for the first time, including 17-year-old Adam Swandi. Lions XC midfielders Gabriel Kwok and Ferris Ramley and Tanjong Pagar United's winger Hafiz Noor also received their first national call-ups. Veteran forward Indra Sadan was also recalled to the national team. He took the captain's armband on 4 June 2013 for coach Stang's first game against Myanmar which Singapore won 2-0. He also scored the first goal in the second friendly match against Laos, which saw Singapore with a 5-2 victory. Following the two wins, Singapore's FIFA World Rankings rose nine places to 156 in July 2013. Stang registered his first international competition win on the 15th of October 2013 against Syria. Stang had been trying to inculcate the one-touch, quick-tempo style of play for into the Singapore team, and gear the team up for the 2014 AFF Championship and try to retain the AFF Championship. 2014 AFF Championship 
The Lions entered the 2014 AFF Championship as the defending champions trying to defend the cup on home soil, but their title defense was spoiled with a 1-2 defeat over Thailand, which they also faced back in 2012. Then, they beat Myanmar 4-2 before bowing out after suffering a 1-3 defeat to rivals Malaysia. The Lions finished with three points and third in Group B, and are the first team in the history of the AFF Championship to bow out from the group stage as the defending champions. Topic: 2018 FIFA World Cup Qualifier, 2019 AFC Asian Cup Qualifier. The Lions' kick started their campaign with an away game against Cambodia on the 11th of June 2015, which ended 4-0 in favor of Singapore. Following which, they traveled to Saitama Stadium in Japan, where they held the hosts to a goalless draw. However, they were defeated by Syria 0-1, at the Sultan Qaboos Sports Complex in Muscat, Oman, marking their first loss in the group stages of the tournament. The Lions then beat Afghanistan by a scoreline of 1-0 and their second consecutive win against Cambodia, winning the game 2-1. However, the winning streak ended when they faced Japan at home, and were defeated 0-3. They then went on to face Syria, which was a tight game. Kribben of Syria scored on the 20th minute and were 0-2-1 up. Safawan of Singapore scored a late equaliser on the 89th minute but Singapore could not hold on to the draw which ended Kribben again scoring on the third minute of added time after the 90th minute, this resulted in a 1-2 loss to Singapore. Singapore played their final game against Afghanistan and were defeated 1-2. Singapore finished in third place in the table with a total points of 10. Topic 2016. In April 2016, a month after the match against Afghanistan, the FAS announced that Bernd Stang contract would not be renewed, and he left the Singapore national football team. After a few months of Stang's departure, FAS announced the new caretaker coach was to be then Tampanese Rovers head coach V Sundramorthy. Sundram's first major tournament was the 2016 AIA Bank Cup in June, where the team won host Myanmar and went on to the finals against Vietnam. In that match, the two teams drew after 90 minutes and went on to extra time where Singapore conceded three goals to clinch second. After a few months, Sundram and FAS arranged the long-awaited Causeway Challenge against Singapore's rival, Malaysia. In that match, Singapore created a lot of chances and dominated the game but was unfortunate to end the game with a 0-0 draw. In 2016, Sundram also called up a few uncapped players like Syazwan Buhari, Kyril Hin Khalid, Irfan Fandi, Abdul Qayyum, Shawal Anwar, Azar Sayarudin and Amy Racha. Many of which has at least one cap to their name. Although Hami Syahin was not called up for any matches, he was registered in the 40-man provisional squad for the 2016 AFF Championship. Sundram also recalled several players like Daniel Bennett, Mustafa Faruddin, Zulfadli Zainal and Hafiz Noor. Ridwan Muhammad was not recalled for any matches but was registered in the 40-man provisional squad for the 2016 AFF Championship. Sundram also gave chances to the two players, Shafiq Ghani and Shadan Suleiman who both just recovered from long-term injuries to prove themselves. Topic. 2016 AFF Championship In 2016, Singapore was grouped with ASEAN Giants, Thailand together with Indonesia and Philippines and was grouped in the group of death, as the teams in this group were tough. Singapore then started their tournament with a 0-0 draw over Philippines. They then lost 0-1 to Thailand where Thailand's Sarawat Masak scored a late winner in the 89th minute. Singapore actually needed at least a draw with Indonesia and Thailand have to beat Philippines to qualify for the semi-finals. It was great news in the first half as Singapore was leading 1-0 but Singapore's defence went to sleep and conceded two late goals for Indonesia to qualify for the semi-finals. Singapore ended their 2016 AFF Championship at the bottom of the table. Topic. 2019 AFC Asian Cup qualification, third round 
Singapore started their 2019 AFC Asian Cup qualification, third round campaign against Bahrain on 28 March 2017. Singapore drew with Bahrain with a score line of 0-0. In Singapore's next game, they went on to play against Chinese Taipei where they lost 1-2 at home with Singapore's vice-captain Harris Harun scoring and Xavier Chen and Chen Chao in scoring for the visitors. Singapore's head coach V. Sundramorthy introduced a national team day where Mondays are for players who are called up for a short meeting and tactical training session in the pitch. In this call-up, Sundram recalled players like Ryan Rahman. Sundram also called up the uncapped Ho Wai Loon as a standby player for matches against Afghanistan and Bahrain. Sundram also called up uncapped Muhaiman Suhaimi for the friendly against Myanmar, the 2019 Asian Cup qualifiers against Chinese Taipei and the friendly against Argentina. They made history for not winning any match in a year, reaching the lowest FIFA ranking ever of 173rd placing. Singapore finished bottom of the group with two points, losing the final match 1-0 to secure home and away losses against Chinese Taipei on 26 March 2018. Kits There have been different suppliers for the jerseys, from Admiral, Puma, Umbro, Grand Sport to Tiger. In November 2006, Nike signed a year's deal of kit sponsorship worth SGD $1 million. Singapore had initially worn blue shirts and shorts as their home kit. However, in the late 1980s, the Lions adopted the national colors of red and white for their home kit while they kept blue as the color for the away kit. This tradition stayed on through the 1990s. For the 2007 AFF Championship, the national team's colors reverted to blue as its home kit and white as the other kit. Before 2006, Singapore had been using the same kit for nearly five years, supplied by Tiger who had a tie-in with Diodora. The kit used during the 2007 AFF Championship made its final appearance on 4 February 2007 against Thailand. The next kit was first used on 24 June 2007 against DPR Korea. The jersey has white trims at the edge of the sleeves and around the neck. Unlike most national teams which use the country's footballing association as a logo on the kit, the national flag of Singapore takes up the spot on the left chest instead while a white Nike logo is on the right chest and this symmetry also applies to the away jersey. The numbering and lettering font and color is the same as the previous two home jerseys. On 13 February 2008, a leaked photo from a photo shoot surfaced on the internet showing the unreleased kit showing national captain Indra Sadandad modeling the kit with Harris Harun. The new kit was officially announced on 20 March 2008, featuring tight-fit jerseys in the two traditional team colors, red for the home games and blue for the away matches. The kit was worn for the first time by the national team in the international friendly against Australia in preparation for the World Cup 2010 qualifier home game against Lebanon on the 26th of March 2008. In November 2010, Nike Singapore launched a new football kit for Singapore, specially made for the 2010 AFF Championship. The home kit's design was of half dark red and light red. The away kit features half navy blue and light blue that was once worn by Singapore football team in 1970s era. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Home Stadium. From 1932 until the National Stadium was opened in 1973, Jalan Besar Stadium hosted all home games of Singapore's representative sides which participated in the Malaysia Cup. Since then, all of Singapore's home games in the Malaysia Cup and the national team home matches were played at the National Stadium. However, the National Stadium was slated for demolishment in 2010 to make way for the new Singapore Sports Hub which was completed in 2014. Singapore played Australia in what was planned to be the last game ever to be played at that stadium. However, due to some delays caused by the addition of new plans for the Singapore Sports Hub, the National Stadium continued to host five more matches, and it was also the venue for two more World Cup 2010 qualifier matches. While the stadium was being rebuilt as part of the new sports hub, the Singapore national team played its home games at the Jalan Besar Stadium, sharing it with the Lions XC and the Cubs U15 and U16 teams. Since the start of 2004, Singapore has played its home matches in seven different stadiums all over Singapore. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Competition records. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> FIFA World Cup records. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> AFC Asian Cup. Topic: Asian Games. Topic: AFF Championship. Topic: Sea Games record. Topic: Honors. Regional AF Championship Champions 4, 1998, 2004, 2007, 2012 Third place, 2008 Southeast Asian Games Silver Medalists 3, 1983, 1985, 1989 Bronze Medalists 4, 1975, 1991, 1993, 1995 Minor honor IA Bank Cup Runners Up 1, 2016 Topic <laughs> All-time record against other countries Below is a list of matches of Singapore's matches against FIFA recognized teams Topic <laughs> <laughs> Players Topic: Current squad. The following players were selected for the 2018 AFF Championship. Caps and goals updated as of the 25th of November 2018, after the match against Thailand. Topic: Recent call-ups. The following players have also been called up in the last 12 months to the Singapore squad. Notes STA player on standby SUS player suspended RC player suspended for yellow or red card accumulation INJ player withdrew from the squad due to an injury RET retired from the national team WD player withdrew from the squad for non-injury related reasons Topic: Previous squads. 1984 AFC Asian Cup squad. 1996 AFF Championship squad. 1998 AFF Championship squad. 2000 AFF Championship squad. 2002 AFF Championship squad. 2004 AFF Championship squad. 2007 AFF Championship squad. 2008 AFF Championship Squad 2010 AFF Championship Squad 2012 AFF Championship Squad 2014 AFF Championship Squad 2016 AFF Championship Squad 2018 AFF Championship Squad Topic Results and Fixtures Win Draw Loss Topic twenty eighteen Friendly twenty nineteen AFC Asian Cup qualification third round twenty eighteen AFF Championship One non FIFA international match Topic Current coaching staff Topic Coaches One Carrot earned Malaysian nationality after Malaysia formed on the sixteenth of September nineteen sixty three. Became Singaporean after Singapore separation from Malaysia in nineteen sixty five. 
Topic: <laughs> Performance by coach. The following table provides a summary of the Singapore national team under each coach. Includes both competitive and friendly matches. Statistics correct as of 13 November 2018 Key, P games played, W games won, D games drawn, L games lost, percent win percentage. See also Singapore national under-23 football team Singapore national youth football team Young Lions Singapore Women's National Football Team Notes <laughs> <laughs>